Let's say we're asked to simplify this expression and write our answer with positive exponents only. First, we look for some rearrangement, if any can be done. And looking at the problem, everything is either inside of parentheses or it has already been simplified as much as possible. So we start by opening up the two parentheses that we have. For both the numerator and the denominator, we have a product raised to a power. Here we have three terms being multiplied, so still a product raised to a power. So we can expand or apply the power to all of those individual terms. C and B cubed will both get squared as they do here. This expression on the top right will just stay as it is. We're not going to touch it for now. And the denominator, each of these three terms will get a power of three as well. So we get A cubed raised to the third, B to the negative two raised to the third, C cubed raised to the third. At this stage, we can apply the power rule, which states that if we have a power raised to another power, we multiply the two powers together. That's going to happen with each one of these individual parentheses. When we do that, we get c squared as it is, b raised to the sixth, the two comes along, the a to the negative three and b squared come along as well. a cubed raised to the third, we multiply the threes together and we get nine. b to the negative two times three gives us b to the negative six. And then c cubed cubed gives us c to the ninth. Three times three is nine. At this stage, we can rearrange the numerator so that all the terms that can be multiplied together are next to each other. Which is really just to say we're going to put the b's next to each other because the two has nothing else in common, the a has no other like terms, and neither does the c. So just for symmetry, we're going to put the two first, the a next, the b to the sixth and b squared in the middle, and then c squared at the end. Notice that the denominator hasn't changed from the previous step, we've kept it the same. At this stage, since the bases are same and we're multiplying the two terms, we can add the exponents together. So that will give us b to the eighth while everything else stays the same and just comes along for the ride. At this stage, there is no rearrangement or simplification that can be done with just the numerator and just the denominator. So we start using the quotient rule. Two divided by the one would just be two. For a's, since we're dividing and the bases are same, we'll do top power minus bottom power. The same thing for the b and the same thing for the c's. So we get a raised to the negative three minus nine, b raised to the eight minus negative six, c raised to the two minus nine. This we can simplify further by just multiplying the parentheses out. So negative times positive will just give negative, negative times negative will give positive, and two minus nine can be simplified right away to give negative seven. Let's copy this over to the next page. Now we can combine or simplify the powers to get 2a to the negative 12, negative three minus negative, I'm sorry, negative three minus nine will be negative 12, eight plus six will give us 14, and negative seven stays as is. Now here, nothing else can be simplified. So we look to our instructions. The question wanted all the exponents to be positive. So the two and the b to the 14th will stay exactly where they are, while a to the negative 12 and c to the negative seven, we can move to the denominator by using the negative power rule, which allows us to change or flip the signs on the exponents. So a to the negative 12 becomes a to the 12 in the denominator, and c to the negative seven becomes c to the positive seven in the denominator as well. 